it wasn't just the Yes campaign getting fired up today. The No campaign bosses sure matched them today on that. Here is Warren Mundine, the former Federal Labor President. Everyone knows the pressure that was put on me to send me almost to suicidal positions. And this is what this is what this Prime Minister has done. This Prime Minister from day one had attacked people who had a different opinion to him, called them names, and that opened up the floor for the whole division to start. With all the horrible racial abuse, with all the horrible uh, uh, bigotry that's been going on out there, and it's all elbow. Joining me is the woman who's been absolutely critical in turning around public opinion on The Voice, National Senator Jacinta Nampajimpa-Price, Shadow Minister for Indigenous Australians. Jacinta Nampajimpa-Price, thank you so much for joining us. Your reaction to the Prime Minister's speech today announcing October 14 as voting day? Well, once again, uh, this Prime Minister is hell-bent on dividing our country. He's provided no more detail other than what we already suspected, that the uh, referendum would be held on October 14. Uh, there is very little that he contributed uh, to, uh, in, t in terms of informing Australians further as to what this all means, what, uh, you know, this voice proposal entails, how people be represented, all of those things, all of the answers that, uh, you know, to the questions that Australians have been putting forward now for months, uh, he still hasn't answered them. Uh, and all he's done is... Um, just, you know, glorified uh, this idea uh, and provided a date. But uh, that's about it, really. But you said you've got a big ask ahead of you. I mean, I know the polls are going, uh, have been going your way, but the Yes campaign has a reported 50 to $100 million to fight this campaign. That's got to dwarf what you... How much do you guys have? Mm. Oh, yeah, we certainly... <laughs> We'd be lucky if we'd be um, getting anywhere near 10 uh, million for our campaign. I mean, our campaign has been grassroots driven uh, by everyday mums and dads, uh, Australians of all backgrounds, those who have put their hand in their pocket to say they don't want to see our country divided along the lines of race. Uh, those, you know, we've had pensioners, people who right at the minute, because of the cost of living, can't afford to give much at, if anything at all, uh, who are digging deep, deep to support uh, the No campaign. That's who we're representing. We're representing everyday Australians that have been abandoned, uh, certainly by the Labor Party, uh, that are pushing this ideological, divisive, uh, detailless and risky concept onto the Australian people uh, and wishing to enshrine that within our constitution that belongs to every single one of us. So, but we're going to go hard. Regardless of our resources, we're going to go hard uh, ourselves. We have got um, to focus on those, uh, those states that are battleground states here in Tasmania, South Australia. Uh, the polls are looking good, but we cannot be complacent whatsoever. Uh, and we need Australians to continue to come We're on board with the No campaign. 